What's up guys welcome to day 99 baby <sighs> one more after this and we're done i'm gonna wrap up making up this engine i'm actually gonna do a couple of things i really did some things wrong but i put so much work into this earlier videos we're just gonna keep moving forward welcome to the design process of me first thing is i realized that this is not a camshaft this is a crank shaft. One thing I was going through the videos is like, that doesn't really work as a cam, though. And then I realized it's because it's not a cam, it's a crank shaft. In any case, uh, what you should be at this point is uh, having uh, six pistons work with a crank shaft, and the six pistons fire kind of from there. What we're going to do is we're going to do two quick edits because this is going to be helps us make it a 3D printed printable model. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to double click and I'm going to edit this feature. And I'm instead of going in the full distance to that center borehole, we're only going to go in like an inch and a half. And we'll see why here in a second. And I'm going to do the same thing what I did to the other side. I'm only going to go in an inch and a half. So I was thinking, okay, how can we make this to where we could still see the internals of the engine on the crankshaft and not um, really have to disassemble it? And then I found, I was just like, I kind of had this idea. What if we shell it to where the top has an open view? And there you go. That's it. Well, we got to fix the center borehole, but in any case, um, it still allows the pistons to slide. It allows the crankshaft to rotate. And, uh, yeah, it, it just works. So we do have to make two quick, another, or one more edit on top of that. I, I, do, I do have to fix that. And that's going to be, instead of having our engine block with the hole already bored out of it, um, we're just going to do the solid engine body, that whole profile. And that way, our this internals of our engine actually still work. That looks good. Um, now what we're doing is we're going to bore those holes out now, and then slap on our headers, and we should be good to go. I might make some more edits. We'll see. We'll get there. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to hit E for extrude, and I'm going to pull this profile out. Uh, let's do one full inch. Because I want to stick out half an inch out of the block body. Click OK. And we have to make an edit to our engine body. Now, here's something really cool I found. If we tick and we say extrude this profile, and then we make the crankshaft inactive, that profile still selected. And so what I should be able to do, oh no, I have to do it first. I'm going to go backwards with it as a cut, then make the crankshaft inactive, and then it'll cut it out of just the body of the engine. I'm going to bring my crankshaft back up. Boom, it's there. I thought it was a really nice, neat um, kind of uh, speed and efficacy feature. Uh, we could do the same thing. So instead of just uh, extruding through that, we can actually extrude all the way through and make sure that, ooh, actually, does it big brain it? Oh, look at that. It only cut out of the engine body, and not any of those other pieces. This is looking fun. Now, I do have to extrude, though. Because I won't be able to select just that profile. So let's do make a sketch on this body. And let's hit P for profile. There we go. Finish sketch. Let's go ahead and extrude this profile. Let's connect. So let's do a 
two-sided extrusion. Let's connect the crankshaft to about half an inch outside of the body. We'll do it as join. Join it to the crankshaft. It's doing that preview for us. Everything looks good. Now, up to this point, if I hit animate model, everything should still work as expected. I kind of just get in the habit of, as I build it, make sure everything's good and golden. All right. Let's just make a couple more quick edits. That way our, our engine block looks correct. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my engine block body and I'm going to pull this up just a half inch because those pistons are coming out just a little too far for my liking. So I'm going to animate the model. The pistons kind of hit that gap of just coming out just a little bit and that looks good. Okay, last thing I'm going to do is let's throw on some headers and call it done. So, let's hit E for extrude, but instead of a, a join, we're going to do a new body, or new component. And then we're going to do that for, for this side. Boom. And let's do the same thing for this side. Bring it up, half inch, new component. Boom. And we got our two headers. Header, there we go. And header, there we go. Let's close off our headers. So let's do a sketch up on this plane, do a rectangle, just trace that rectangle real quick. That way, when I hit extrude, I can select this, all of these profiles together. And let's bring that up a quarter inch, half inch is kind of overkill at this point. And we're going to do the same thing on this end. We're going to do a create a sketch on that profile. Hit finish sketch. Hit E for extrude. Bring this up a quarter inch. Hit join. Looks good. Sweetness. Just for appearance sake, I'm going to go to appearance and make those a blue Color. That way we can still see inside them, but still have them be active. And let's test this out one more time. There we go. Things are looking good. All right. One last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this onto a gear. Just so that way we have something to hold and we can kind of turn the gear and see how the gear interacts with crankshaft. So let's do that. Let's do my nice, neat, favorite little tool. Click on tools, click on add-ins, scripts and add-ins, scroll down, hit spur gear, click run. The diametrical pitch, I want to pick a pretty high number because I want this to have a lot of teeth. So I'm going to do something like 8. And let's have 60 teeth. Uh, can, we do, can we do 80 T? And the diametrical pitch of 9, maybe? Can we get away with 10? Is 10 possible? No, too much. Let's do a 10 inch gear, though. That's still way too big. I'm just going to have to sell for like 45. That looks good. Full diameter. Should be 1.5 inches. No. Should be 1 inch. Did I get it right? I don't know. We'll see. No, it's 1.5. Dang it. All right. Let's delete it. Click on it. Delete it. Get out of here. My computer's really lagging up. I clicked on it like three times and there's it. This little black uh, strip you get on, the, on that side. I don't know why. My computer just likes to lock up every once in a while. I'm on the bet because I'm using Fusion in a way you're not supposed to. But, in any case, here we go. That whole diameter is 1.5 inches. Not 1,500. Try that again. Alright. Here we go. Hit J for joint. 
that's going to revolve around like that. That's still too big. What's going on? Sorry, folks. Be back with your regular scheduled programming once I figure out it's... it's... Mm. All right. So I refuse to get this far into a video and do it again. We're just going to have some add-ins on the fly. Spur gear. 1.25. Click OK. Last but surely not least. Gaper joint. Do the face of that with the face of that. And it's going to be a rigid constraint because we want them to spin together. And now, out of curiosity, if I were to spin this, do my pistons act accordingly? And they sure do. Now, again, like I said, this is not to scale. This is really just a demonstration model. But I was kind of bullheaded in the whole thing. Of if I can't make it in fusion i don't deserve to 3d print it so i mean you can steal a thing online yada 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 but i want to be able to make whatever i'm teaching the students now we've made an engine a v6 engine model it at least shows how it components with how a crankshaft works with pistons and it is going to be 3d printable kind of i might have to make some edits you know 3d printing is not perfect but that wraps up day 99 of 100 of Autodesk Fusion. This video, this series of videos have been tons of fun, frustrating with fun to make. If they've been helpful, or you like them, or even watch my other ones and say, hey, you could probably remake this one. It's a little, little shoddy. Uh, please just let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to help figure out where you guys need help at, if any at all. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome. And hopefully I will see you guys around for day 100 here soon. Take care.